everybody today we are going to be making some beautiful soap we're going to be making a vegan soap because all of my soaps are vegan and um, this is going to be gorgeous it is totally palm free we don't use palm oil in this either just some beautiful shea cocoa uh, butters and of course we're going to use some coconut oil because we need that to bulk it up along with some gorgeous avocado and um, some castor oil so let's get going and we're going to make it I have already mixed up my beautiful blend which is here it's absolutely divine and this is called caramel sea salt and it's just absolutely beautiful I know no no you're going to love it so anyway let's get going and let's make something gorgeous so now in front of me here, we have everything we need. We've got the gloves and the glasses, of course. We do have our mica. I have my um, oils here, which is my fragrance oils. I also have the lye in that container and I have already mixed up my oils in here. And the last thing we're going to be adding in is some beautiful castor oil. So now I did get this castor oil from Craft 360 and that's the one we're going to use today. We're going to try it out. I've not used it before, but I'm sure it's gonna be great because it's a really good company and um, I'm hoping to start getting a lot of my bulk um, you know oils and things like that from them so let's get going and let's make this beautiful of course I do also have my molds sitting there and they are ready to go so let's start making this gorgeous gorgeous thing so now like I said we're going to be adding in our castor oil here I did get this one from craft 360 so this is what it looks like it's just a gorgeous um castor oil so now what we're going to do is we're going to add this in i need 175 grams in my recipe um, and i'm using five percent castor oil in case you want to know um, generally what i'm going to use five percent is really good i wouldn't go more than six or seven percent with castor oil because it can make your soap smell a bit funny in time um, and we definitely don't want that so i'm going to double check my uh, recipe but i'm pretty sure we're 175 grams and yes i am right it's one of those things everyone i always say check check and recheck because you don't want to do this wrong and um, then you've ruined it by putting too much in it because what happens if you put too much of all different oils in it um, it can actually make your bars like sticky and not feel very good so that's why you really do need to stick um, to the recipe there's no good just saying well i'm going to double this recipe i've had a few people do that you definitely don't want to do that um you can't just double it you need to put it back through soap calc if it's not the amounts that you want and play around with the numbers i mean you know i don't know everything and um you know it's one of those things like i say you know just please sort of practice a little bit to make sure you've got what you want so now we have got this ready we're going to give this a little bit of a stir and um, then what I'm going to do is we are going to just uh, start to mix up a bit of the colour. All right, everyone. So in front of me here, we do have our little container. Now in this container, we want to take some oils already that, out of the ones that we've already mixed. Now, the reason we want to take that is if we start adding extra oils, it's just going to add up in here. I mean, it's not going to make a massive difference. But um, I really just think it's better just to use the oils we've already got rather than, you know, adding more in. And this is a teaspoon. I'm just going to add three or four teaspoons in here just so that I can mix this colour. Uh, one more is probably enough on here. And um, that's it. And then, of course, to the side. I mean, look how cute this little spoon is. Isn't this darling? I actually got a set of these. This is like a little teaspoon. Um, and I did actually get this from TK Maxx. So um, we're just going to have a teaspoon of my car. I'm just going to shake it out a little bit. Just going to drop it in here. Now with this particular one here, this is what I'm doing is I'm going to be doing like um, a brown um, and I'm using a cocoa butter sort of brown. And then I'm going to mix this green because the sea salt and um, caramel are kind of brown and green, aren't they? So they kind of mix together those two colors so what we're going to do now is just mix it all up so let's just mix it up i mean this is a bit big for this tiny little bowl but you know we just really want to combine it like you could pour this directly into your mix once it's done but if the fragrance starts making it go crazy well i don't want to deal with that um so that's why i'm going to be doing this although i am going to be putting in the cocoa 
basically um, in it as well. Now, if you were just using one color, before you even add the light, you could literally just mix this straight into, um, you know, your oils and then blend it up because, you know, then you don't have the light, so you don't have to worry. But do remember too, there are some um, colorants as well, like some micas that actually thicken everything up. So you don't want to deal with that either. Anyway, we have done that bit now, haven't we, my loves? So let's go over. We're going to add all the um, lye and all the extra things we want to do, and let's get making. All right, friends. So inside here, I do have all of my butters, my oils. Everything is totally melted down. Here I have my little sifter, and I'm just going to sit this here because I just want to make sure that I'm going to pop um, the lye through it. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I didn't have a color cover on my lye, and that means the lye is going to have things called lye lint, which just looks like little crystallized bits that are going to be on the top. Um, it's nothing too exciting, but, um, you know, we don't want to add all of that in. And, um, you know, like inside there, if you can kind of see, there's a little bit of lye lint. But anyway, we don't need to be too particular. But this way, we know that we're not going to be putting it all in there. And it's going to be nice and smooth. So I've done that bit. Let me just put this away. All right, so I've done that. I've got my gloves on. I've got my glasses on. We're ready to go. Let's just pop this inside here. It is very full, but I'm sure you'll get that. You won't mind about that. And now let's just blend this up and then we're going to add our colors, fragrance and everything else after. Now, when you're blending, do remember that if you blend too much, you might make it a bit crazy. So just try to be a bit gentle. <laughs> I can't just tip this and show you but we're going to tip some of this into another container so that we can add our green in and then we're going to add the rest um, of the brown or some of the brown I should say into here so let me just get a container and we'll do this bit so here is a container and this is just going to be for the greens we don't need a massive amount maybe just the small amount here we will add that bit in there and um Hopefully we'll just do that. And look what happened to my glove. I ripped it on the side, so we will just change that, put a brand new glove on. All right, so let me just put that to the side. So now what we're gonna do is we have got this. We're gonna add the green in. Let's just tip this in here and um, just want to quickly mix this up nothing too exciting just a quick zap because it is ready to go i can feel that it's getting a little bit thick already all right so that is ready my friends i'm just going to leave that we're going to pop that aside it's beautiful and green i'm not adding the fragrance in yet so now here i do have this which is this is a gorgeous brown this is just cocoa butter that i actually bought from a supplier i think i got it from heirloom um let me just we're just going to put three tablespoons because this is going to go brown and because i do actually have caramel in this fragrance i know it's going to go brown anyway and so now i'm just going to quickly give this a zap and um make sure it's ready all right so i've mixed this up so now i'm going to put the fragrance in the fragrance is mostly going to go into this i'm going to put a tiniest bit in the other one but pretty much hardly anything and the first one just a real little bit because I don't want it to go super brown and now we're just going to blend this in all right let's blend this one too all right friends we are going to organize um, our molds so let's just move all of this to the side and I've made a bit of a mess but luckily for me I already did add some paper towel so I'm just going to move that All 
right, so we have our containers sitting here and literally all I'm gonna do is pour this in. So we have all of this here already. So let's just simply pour it straight in and you can see it's just this brownie color, um, you know, nothing too exciting, but I still think it's gonna look really nice. And let's just pour the other one in here. And I'm hoping that there's enough. Uh, I definitely think there's enough, which is good because I was a bit concerned. Um, and then of course, we've got this. So let's just give it another mix. And I always do, if you mix it up, it will loosen it a tiny bit. And we do want this to come to the top of this as well of this mold because that way I know it's going to be the right amount. So the higher you hold up means the deeper it's going to go in here. And like I said, this is just going to be some green and some browns, which is cool, isn't it? And I'm just going to add a tiny bit at the edge because that way I can make a beautiful pattern if there's some sort of sitting at the top a little bit more. Give it a tap down. And if there's any left over, which I have the tiniest amount over, um, I'm just gonna move this to the side a tiny bit. It's not really ready to move yet, but we'll do it soon. I do have another mold to add the extras. So I think I showed you once before, this is gonna be my guest soap molds. Um, let me just move this aside. And I'm just gonna move this to the back and I'm just literally gonna fill it in. So all I'm gonna do is whatever I've got left in here, which is only a tiny bit, I'm just gonna pour this in for my guest mold. So we will scrape this because there's nothing worse than trying to dig out the soap of um, your container the next day when it all gets stuck is very annoying. Um, so yeah, so I hope you've all been having a good day. I hope you've all been really concentrating on your businesses. Um, you know, as I did say in a live the other week, which is a bit funny, I said, um, you know, you're not going to be successful sitting on the couch, eating chips, watching Netflix. Um, I know I've been there. So, I mean, look, we all think of that, don't we? But I mean, it's funny to think of, but when you're in that state and at the moment things are tough every day i see a new person on facebook going broke um or closing down i hope they close down before they go broke because that's better than being broke but either way is not good is it anyway i'm just going to pour these in i'm sorry i can't show you but i i mean you can see this here so let me just hold on let me move this it's just so you can see a little bit all i'm going to do honestly is just pour them in here um just to fill these and it's really only going to fill a couple and i did think um you know depending on what happens with the soap that this is probably a good mix so for these two molds i my measurement is three and a half kilos um of soap that i've made today so i think that's probably pretty good um, and it's only going to give me a couple extra uh, molds, which is fine. Um, so I think this is going to be good. I am actually going to go back to Aussie Soap and get some more of these molds. Um, these little molds here are from Aussie Soap Supplies. And there's just a tiny bit. So I'm just going to look. We'll just add that tiny bit on here. Just so that I don't have to scrape out my mold at a later date. All right, we are done and let's just clean up. Always give your molds a bit of a tap like I showed you before and now we're just going to do this one and make it beautiful. Now to do the tops, you can do anything you like. You can just get a stick and do this if you like. I mean, that's as simple as you need to do it. Um, you know, look, there's no right or wrong. I mean, I say this all the time. I mean, it doesn't really matter whether you're using a stick like this, whether you're using a spoon, but today I'm just using a popsicle stick. And um, all you do is you're just literally going to grab it from one side like this and force it over. That's pretty much it. So you just go down like a centimeter on the edge and then just kind of pull it over a little bit. Um, and some people have their own kind of signature 
way of doing this as well like you could you know push it to the side a bit more um you know maybe on the side you want to add your flowers or whatever you're adding this one here is not going to have anything on it i guess i could put salt but remember if you're adding salt to anything salt attracts water um and it may actually attract water into your product and i'm pretty sure you're not going to want that um so yeah so i do kind of like this you could do a bit of a swirl at the edge let's just do a, a swirly bit on this edge just to make it look a little bit pretty um and so i'm only using a popsicle stick i mean you know everyone laughs because it does actually have my name on it my daughter printed some with my name um you could use a teaspoon you could use a knife um could use whatever you like um so anyway it's looking beautiful i'm going to give you a little look over the top and i definitely need to make some soap because um at the moment things are looking a bit sad <laughs> i don't have much left at the moment and i really need to concentrate on getting more products out uh, especially now that i'm looking at getting my boxes all done i did get um, a quote today which is exciting so hopefully um you know we can get this started but you know don't hate yourself you can't get boxes if you can't please do what i did at the start just you know label it yourself there's nothing wrong with that um it's just as you go further if you want to do wholesale most wholesale people expect more so now you can leave it like that you can spray it with isopropyl which is going to help it not frost very much you can put the lid on if you want these do have little lids um so we can actually pop the lid if we want um so yeah that's basically as easy as it's going to be my lovelies um simple as that really but i hope you have loved just watching me do this because i know i haven't made much soap and hopefully look can you see that it looks beautiful anyway i'll get the camera i'm always over the top so you can see now i'm done i never wash my dishes today they're going to be sitting here until tomorrow until they harden up because it's better for your drains to let it actually turn into soap rather than try and wash it and you're putting oil down the drain okay lovelies this is what it looks like i hope my shadow my hand is not over it but it's looking really beautiful and this is just done with a little popsicle stick as i said so um yeah i hope you love it and if you do like you can see that i've got two-toned colors um, that's why it's happening now although this green is looking lovely i promise you it's going to be much much lighter it will probably be about six times lighter which is fine i didn't want it too heavy but it is going to change color a little bit because of um you know there is some vanilla in it because this is a caramel sea salt type um, scent this is my own mix of blends for anyone wanting to ask um, because i do blend my own so anyway this one is done and looking beautiful i just love it so we'll come back tomorrow the hard bit is waiting until the next day hello everybody it is the next day and look how beautiful this does look it looks so lovely doesn't it i knew it was going to go brown hence why we did put the brown in it and then the green i only put a small amount so hopefully it doesn't go green but anyway i've got my little cutting machine here this one here i got from aussie soap supplies it's about 180 dollars maybe or 150 i can't quite remember anyway we are just going to literally cut the soap i always try and cut it as soon as i can um and then literally this is what it's going to look like isn't it beautiful can you see too how um the inside's not as dark as the outside because obviously it's not cured or anything and during the curing process this is going to change quite a bit now my recipe is um because i just i do do um a reduction in water in it so it's going to be a little bit different to a lot of others and this is what it's like again so also just to let you know my cutting on here this is 2.9 centimeters um across is you know what i'm basically doing in here so so that's what i do with my soap you can do whatever you like of course um but you know that's just what i personally like um you know for my soap anyway and i think i have to fix my um my uh what is it called the wire i almost broke it <laughs> anyway so this is what it's going to look like all the way it's a bit cute isn't it it's just something a little bit different 
and um, my little wire is like bent a bit so I think it needs to be a bit tighter and that's the thing when you do these things you need to tighten everything up as well because the soap will loosen it um, and then if something's not working you so if you can hear that you kind of want it to be a little bit tight but not too tight so that it's not flexible at all anyway i'm going to get cutting this and i'm going to see you guys in the next video i hope you have enjoyed watching me cut my soap as well which is a bit beautiful isn't it and because my recipe is funny i like well not funny but it is quite a heavy recipe it is a little bit harder on the soap cutter as well Anyway, like I said, I'll see you on the next video. I hope you loved it. All right, everyone, I am out in the soap procuring room and I just thought I would give you a look. It's been a few days and um, this is what it's looking like. I know it's not making it look super dark on the video and let me see if I can go in the opposite direction and it might give, might give you a bit of a true indication, maybe not. But anyway, it is looking darker. I think it's going to go the darkest brown you can imagine. Um, and um, of course, it's going to sit here for the next four to six weeks, curing away and then We'll bring it into the shop when it's ready so i hope you have loved this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and i'm going to see you guys on the next video